This video introduces the week one assignment for digital photography, applying composition. This week you will photograph images using four basic composition techniques. It's recommended that you take at least 10 of each photograph and submit your best one for each photo. You'll need to edit and choose your images prior to submission. Refer to the techniques discussed in the previous videos. It's important that you avoid cropping your images after you take them. Instead, use your camera to frame and compose your images. The assignments include a horizontal image, a vertical, a diagonal, and one that shows proportion using the rule of thirds. You'll post one image to the critique discussion, respond to two of your classmates, and submit all four images to the week one Dropbox. Camera orientation is an important part of this week's lesson. For the horizontal image, be sure to hold your camera horizontally. For the vertical, be sure to hold your camera vertically. When using a smartphone camera, get in the habit of taking the same photograph in both horizontal and vertical orientation each time, so you can learn to interact with the phone as a true camera. Horizontal photographs show a feeling of stillness there may be minimal visual elements in your photo, but the dominant elements should be strong horizontal lines and shapes. Holding the camera in the horizontal position is required. Seek out and emphasize visual elements such as bands of color or shapes, such as the horizontal rectangle shape of green in this image. Don't crop your images after you photograph. Instead, Get the elements you want in your photo when you take the picture. Composition in which horizontal lines dominate tend to be quiet and restful in feeling. Horizontal photos do not need to be landscape photographs that show a horizon. These do not need to be perfectly horizontal, but rather predominantly horizontal. Vertical photos emphasize an upward movement in the composition sometimes portraying a feeling of dominance. Erect lines seem to extend upwards beyond human reach towards the sky. They are often found in public architecture from cathedrals to corporate headquarters. Holding the camera in the vertical position is required. Vertical lines can communicate a feeling of loftiness and spirituality. Extended vertical perpendicular lines suggest an overpowering grandeur beyond ordinary human measure. Remember, don't crop your images after you photograph. Instead, get the elements you want in your photo when you take the picture. This will help you learn to become a better photographer. Diagonal lines suggest a feeling of movement or direction. Since objects in a diagonal position are unstable in relation to gravity, being neither vertical nor horizontal, they're either about to fall or already in motion. In a two-dimensional composition, diagonal elements such as shape, color, line, light, and texture are used to indicate depth, an illusion of perspective that pulls the viewer into the picture, creating a sense of space that one could move within. Diagonal lines can be used to point to elements in photos that add emotion and impact. You can take a diagonal image with the camera held in a vertical orientation and combine multiple diagonal lines as well. Experiment and have fun with this assignment. Try new things. Deliberate camera tilting can be used to enhance diagonals. The rule of thirds is a compositional guideline that breaks an image down into thirds, both horizontally and vertically. Proportion refers to the size relationship of visual elements to each other and to the whole picture. One of the reasons proportion is often considered important in photography is that viewers respond to it emotionally. Proportion in art has been examined for thousands of years long before photography was invented. 
One proportion that is often cited occurring frequently in design is the golden mean or golden ratio, which originated in Greek culture. Horizontal or vertical formats are acceptable for rule of thirds. Whether or not you're using a DSLR or a smartphone, turn on your grid lines. Grid lines help you work with rule of thirds and improve your compositions. I recommend keeping these on. The steps vary depending on your camera, so consult your manual. If you don't have a camera manual, search it up online, save or bookmark a copy. The steps for turning on grid lines on an iPhone are shown on screen. The steps for turning on grid lines on Android phones vary depending on your camera. Simple steps are shown on screen. However, consult online resources for your specific camera. For the rule of thirds, place the focal point, which is your subject matter or area of interest, on any of the grid intersections. Take pictures at different angles with different compositions. Work around the rule of thirds, framing elements as you photograph. The rule of thirds strategy will carry with you all the way through the rest of the class. Take your time and study what you're looking at through your camera. Move your camera around to put focal points in the grid intersections. Use design elements, such as line and shape, to divide your photograph into thirds if you like. Your compositions can be simple or complex when applying rule of thirds.